want to hear, Rusty? I'm going to bring you a couple of songs. Guitar, vocal, piano, vocal. Should I go out to the local studio and have them produced before you hear? Right. Help me out here. You know, for me as a, as a publisher, I think lots of times what um, some songwriters don't always grasp is that what I do for a living is hear work tapes. You know, a jam box, cell phone, MacBook recording of a songwriter with a guitar, a songwriter with a piano. And I, that's how I initially hear songs. Now, to get songs recorded by Tim McGraw or Faith Hill, there have, you have to have a great professional demo recording. But to really get to that level of getting a publishing deal, you don't have to have $1,000 demos. Um, I will say that listening to work tapes is time consuming and it's difficult because you really have to remove all the other distractions out of your mind and really pay attention to what the core recording is right there to get all the nuts and bolts out of it. So sometimes if you're, uh, you know, some kind of demo that may just be a professional guitar vocal or a professional piano vocal or maybe just a less expensive stripped down demo that's just like a drums and a bass and a guitar and a singer, that's lots of times, uh, you know, a good way to present your songs. Because the thing is you want to make it as easy as possible. Because when I'm going out to pitch a song, I don't know what's happened to that artist or that record producer or that label executive happened that day. Were they having a fight with their kids? Were they having a fight with their spouse? You know, is somebody in their family sick? Are they stressed out about a bill that's late? You know, I don't know what's going on in their life. And so I have to make it as easy on them as possible to like the music I'm playing. You know, it's my job to set them up to like this. And you as a songwriter wanting a publishing deal, it's the same thing with the publisher. It's like, hey, you don't know what they've got going on that day. You know, have they just been in a car wreck? Has something happened? Um, but you've got to make it, for everybody you're playing songs for, as easy on the listener as possible to hear and accept that song. Um, and so that, that doesn't always mean that it needs to be a full, blown out recording. But if your song is a song that really depends on a track and production to bring it to life, well then it needs to have a little bit more production to make it as easy on that listener to receive it as possible. But if it's a song that's really simple and it comes across just on a piano and a vocal, well that may be all you need to sell it. But if you're mine, you know, you're hearing this you know, big horn section and this lick here and this happening here, and these are real vital elements to your creation, well then if you're going to present it to somebody, it needs to be able to have more of those elements in it so that, you know, you're asking as little of the listener as possible to get it. And, you know, because in my business, <clears throat> when we get songs recorded, in America, really in all genres in the United States of America, music is made to be consumed mainly by women in the morning. And these are women that are driving to work, they've got kids in the car, they're putting makeup on, there's coffee, people are honking, their cell phones ringing, and um, with all those distractions going on, when your song is on the radio, they need to be able to sing along with the chorus the second time they hear it. Not the second time they hear the song, but when they don't even realize they're even paying attention to this song, with all these other distractions, this song has to be so hooky or so emotional that it pulls them out of all these other distractions into this narrow focus of going, oh my gosh, this has just hooked me in. And before they know it, they're humming along with the chorus the second time they hear it. And then at work all day, they're humming along to this song and they're going, man, I, can't, I hope that's on the radio again when I get in the car. And that is a songwriter, that's really the goal you're trying to get because that's what makes hits is translating that emotion through all the mess of life. You have to be able to cut through that to really grab hold of somebody's attention. There's some people from out of town.